And this number is likely to go up to 2.5 billion by the year 2050. That is what the trends predict. The World Health Organization has warned in its recent report on hearing that nearly 2.5 billion people worldwide, or one in four people, may be living with some degree of hearing loss by 2050. So indeed, it is a global issue and it is prevalent uh, across the life course and also across the entire world. We do see that, um, so in term, if we just talk about numbers, what we see is that there are about 1.5 billion people currently who have uh, some level of hearing loss. And, and out of these, about a third, nearly a third of them, they require hearing rehab services in order to have, you know, good day-to-day -day functioning so they can go and sit in a restaurant and have a good conversation with their friends or go to a meeting and be able to hear clearly. Um, and this number is likely to go up to 2.5 billion by the year 2050. That is what the trends predict. And at least 700 million of them will require access to ear and hearing care and other rehabilitation services unless action is taken. World Hearing Day and WHO is releasing its first ever report on hearing. WHO launched its first world report on hearing on March 3rd on the occasion of World Hearing Day and underlined the need to step up efforts to prevent and address hearing loss by investing and expanding access to ear and hearing care services. According to the report, almost 60% of hearing loss in children can be prevented through measures such as immunization for the prevention of rubella and meningitis, improved maternal and neonatal care, and screening for and early management of otitis, media, or inflammatory diseases of the middle ear. WHO statistics show that in most countries, ear and hearing care is still not integrated into national health systems and accessing care services is challenging for those with ear diseases and hearing loss. But the most glaring gap in health system capacity is in human resources. This gap can be closed through the integration of ear and hearing care into primary health care through strategies. The WHO report on hearing also stated that the use of sign language and other means of sensory substitution such as speech reading are important options for many deaf people while medical and surgical treatment can cure most ear diseases, but early intervention is the key.